It's time for the Princess Bride Movie Reviews. Farm Boys are the original horse girls. Send a tweet. That man is the biggest simp I have ever seen. Normalize it. Normalize saying as you wish to everything a woman asks of you. The only thing I love more than a film filled with witty dialogue is a film filled with epic romance. There has never been a blonder, cuter, more vomit-inducing couple than Wesley and Princess Buttercup, and there probably never will be. If the Princess Bride doesn't make you believe in true love, I don't know what will. A bunch of kids in my daughter's second grade class got shut out of a school movie night for space reasons, so one of the parents wound up renting out a local video store with a screening room in the back to show a different movie, which is how I got to experience The Princess Bride as it was meant to be seen. With a series of deafening choruses of EW every time the characters kiss. A kissing movie that's actually good? Inconceivable. Does anyone else headcanon that the book Grandpa reads actually is just a boring kissing book, as Fred Savage puts it, but he's just changing and ad-libbing the whole thing to make it more entertaining for his grandson? Is it just me, or does anyone else feel extremely uncomfortable whenever people lick their fingers before turning pages? Damn, I have to go sign up for a ragtag gang of wisecracking crooks immediately. Me and my friends used to play Princess Bride on the playground in elementary school, and you would think that we'd fought over who wanted to be Buttercup, but no, we would fight over who got to play Inigo. I've been in love with Inigo Montoya since I was six years old. Do you know what that eventually does to a woman? Inigo Montoya has the audacity to walk around with that curly Lord Farquaad haircut, and yet I would still willingly let him stab me. What a man. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. Has there ever been a higher capita of more perfect dialogue? This movie is basically my security blanket. It's been decided. I'm taking up fencing as my new hobby. Why are you wearing a mask? Were you burn the acid or something like that? Oh no, it's just they're terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. Smart guess, Wesley. Very smart guess. Being unemployed in Greenland is apparently the worst thing that can happen to you. When will I reckon with the fact that all the what character are you games I've ever played have been a lie because who I really am is Wallace Shawn as Vizzini. Please change his name to Rizzini because he's played by Wallace Shawn. When will a man build up an immunity to Iocane powder for me? Did the movie make it intentionally easy to guess that it was the farm boy the whole time, or is it stupid enough to think that I actually wouldn't notice? Or maybe it guessed that I knew that he was the farm boy, which means it wanted to make me think that it would surprise me by having it be someone else. Or maybe it guessed that I knew it knew, which means he would make it obvious that it was him, and what in the world could that be? This is actually more of a 9.9 .9 out of 10, because as much as I've stand this since I was a child, I do hate the few misogynist lines. It's honestly so wild that he's like, I almost hit you because where I come from, there's penalties when women lie. And it's like, bitch, where you come from is a farm where you got off on a woman bossing you around. This guy is into dominatrixes. If hurling yourself down a hill after you've shoved the man you love down said hill because you thought he was the man who killed your love, but then actually realized, as his sweet ass is tumbling down, that he actually is your dear sweet Wesley, isn't the truest act of love. I don't know what the heck is. If you google the words sexual awakening, the phrase is defined as coming into your own erotic power. Which is exactly how I have always felt and will continue to feel about my OG sexual awakener, Mr. Wesley, king of the tight black velvet pants. Now that's a mustache. Half a star off for that horrendous mustache the Weasley guy had. Oh, to be a renegade pirate running through the realm with my true love. I was truly born in the wrong universe. Nothing will ever be funnier than Buttercup going like, what about the R.U.S.'s? 
Wesley answering, Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. And then immediately being knocked down by one. <laughs> Buttercup just standing there while Wesley gets freaking ripped to shreds by that giant rat. Go, girl. Give us nothing. When that big rat tries to bite off Carrie Elwes's face. Me trying to get boys to like me. The R.O.U.S. look like Hobby Lobby Halloween decorations. I think my past reviews have focused too much on Wesley. Princess Buttercup, I love you so much. You're so pretty and demanding and a girl boss. I heart you and your beautiful outfits and the way you always look fabulous even when you're being set on fire or attacked by R.O.U.S.'s. I would have also done that for Princess Buttercup. Wesley is not special. Princess Buttercup is such a sleigh name. Where am I? The pit of despair. Don't even think. <coughs> Don't even think about it, trying to escape. That princess better not become a bride. Ah! I am getting married in a week on Saturday, and my whole contribution to the planning and execution of the event has been to walk about and say between three and five times a day. Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. Marriage, that blessed arrangement, that dream within a dream. A divorce may be imminent. It's hard to enjoy a fictional romance when, A, if you were in the main character's shoes, you would go for the bad love interest, and B, the love interest she chooses looks like he's her sibling. Please consider me as an alternative to suicide. Hey, wanna hang out? I can't. I've got my country's 500th anniversary to plan, my wedding to arrange, my wife to murder, and Gilda to frame for it. I'm swamped. Uh, that one scene where Inigo and Fezzik decide to go find Wesley for help really went like, Alright, so Buttercup is captured. What do you suppose we do about it? Us? There's very little we can do about it. You and I are the two stupidest people I know. But together, we might be able to be smart enough to find someone who is smart enough to save Buttercup. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Badassery ensues. Inigo Montoya is so girl boss. I love him. The Princess Bride is a perfect lightning in a bottle movie. Mandy Patinkin as Inigo Montoya is iconic, so it shouldn't be remade. And I want a Princess Bride remake solely to see Pedro Pascal as Inigo Montoya are two contradictory concepts that can coexist in your brain. I love when Buttercup is about to end it all and Wesley is like, No, babe, you're freaking bazongas. No, don't stab yourself in the tit. You're so sexy. <laughs> Warthog-faced buffoon and miserable vomitous mass have instantly become my favorite insults. There's a shortage of perfect movies in this world. Would be a pity not to watch this one. Romance didn't exist before this film, and neither did Ponytails on Men. I didn't know what true love was until I watched this movie and saw the way Inigo looks at Fezzik just before he jumped into his arms, and they rode off together on horseback into the sunrise. This is an honorary gay film, because I'm gay, and I liked it. When I'm ill, the thermometer doesn't tell me my temperature. It tells me I need to watch The Princess Bride. This is one of those movies where it's so perfect that you're not exactly sure what to write for a letterbox review short of typing out an entire essay. So you decide to just pick a really good quote and be done with it. Except the problem here is that basically every single line of the movie is quotable. So you just end up writing about how you aren't sure what to write about. Big thank you to my Patreon members, my little ruse, Kuski55, Logan, Fallen Vexen, Sam, Donka42, I Am A Noodle, and John Huang. Thank you so much for your extra support on Patreon. 
It means the world to me, and I hope you guys are doing amazing. And the same goes to my YouTube channel members, my mini Roos, AD, Taylor Thompson, Logan, Fox Star Killer, and Debella. Again, thank you for your extra support. I'm glad to have you be a part of my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. And thank you to everyone else who watched and voted for the Princess Bride in my latest poll. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and you can help vote in polls for videos I make like this. And other content. There's all sorts of things on my channel. Go check it out. Uh, everyone comment what your favorite scene from The Princess Bride is. I know it's got to be hard to choose. Personally, I think the Iocane powder scene uh, rewired my brain as a child and I've never been the same since. So that's very iconic to me. But let me know your answers and I'll see you in the next video.